In this lesson, I will demonstrate how to use a wizard to extend the workflow by a multi-objective optimization based on the MOP solver, and finally, how to do the results post-processing. Drag and drop the optimization wizard on top of the AMAP system, which must light up in green. Parameters are already well defined, so we can skip the first step. In step two, optimization criteria need to be defined, drag, costs, and drop it as an objective to be minimized. Same will be repeated for response max dash u. Please note, with this, a multi-objective optimization is defined. In third step, we choose the recommended setting, one-click optimization based on the, on the MOP solver, and we use reference design as start designs. In fourth step, we confirm to validate best designs lying on the Pareto front. These best designs are validated by further solver runs afterwards and added to the post-processing. We will decrease the number to 10 designs along the Pareto front to reduce the overall calculation time. Let's come to the post-processing of the multi-objective optimization. The best design represents the Pareto front, which is the list of best compromises between low costs and low deflection the engineer can make his choice. Choose validated designs as primary layer to control the validation outcome. Clicking on such designs, the comparison between approximated result and numerical calculation is displayed. Now, I'll show you a way to create a nice image to visualize the influence of the thicknesses along the Pareto front by coloring. We activate the best designs only and use cluster analysis to automatically find five cast clusters. Applying the color code to the parallel coordinate path the thickness influence becomes visible. In this lesson, you have learned how to set up an optimization based on the MOP using the wizard, including the step of validation of best designs. You have been introduced to the basic handling of the optim of this link post-processing with respect to the results of an optimization and how to use filtering and coloring to create more attractive result visualizations.